my angels, welcome back to Vlogmas. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are going to be getting seriously merry. I thought it was about time that we made my scrumptious mulled wine recipe. And it certainly isn't Christmas without mulled wine. And then I actually saw this recipe on Instagram and it looked scrumptious, so I thought we could make it. And it was also super simple. I don't know about you, but I have not had Nutella in absolute years. It's a four ingredient Nutella Christmas tree and it looks epic. So I thought, do you know what? Let's make it together. First things first, let's talk through the ingredients. Now you might well have these ingredients in your cupboard so you guys could make this literally with me now. So get yourselves a bottle of red wine. You don't need to have special red wine for this. Any red wine will do. So actually I've got a gorgeous 2019 PSI which will taste absolutely scrumdidiocious. You're going to need some ground cinnamon, some star anise, as well as whole cloves. Now I love putting fresh orange in my mulled wine, but you don't have to add the fresh orange. I just think it introduces a really like fresh element to the mulled wine. And then depending upon how sweet you like it, you're going to need some sugar, or if you don't want to have sugar, you can always add sweetener. So that is the mulled wine ingredients. Now, the Christmas tree, it really is as simple as, you need some Nutella <laughs> and a lot of it. Then you need two sheets of puff pastry, one egg and some icing sugar to dust some snow over the top. And literally it is as easy as that. So like always, let's do this. I needed to seriously up my pinny game. I have got my Christmas pinny on. How sweet is this? It's got reindeers, it's got antlers, it's got Christmas trees, it's got little drinks on it. I'll give you a close up. And this, believe it or not, was under 10 pounds on Amazon. I will of course leave the link down below, but how sweet is this for a little Christmas pinny? So I don't want to get my cream cashmere dirty. So the pinny is going on and let's get mulling and baking. <laughs> okay, so when I said this is the easiest mulled wine recipe of all time, I meant it. You literally put in all of the ingredients and then you should give it a good old stir. You need to ensure that you don't boil it because we're not looking to boil off any alcohol here. Normally in baking or in cooking, you would um, boil off the alcohol, but when you're making mulled wine, we most certainly do not want to be doing that. Now, I do think that if you do use a nice bottle of red wine, it does make it a little bit more full-bodied and a little bit more fruity. However, you really do not need to have an expensive bottle of wine to make a nice mulled wine. Um, it can be literally the cheapest bottle of red wine in the supermarket, but with anything, if you invest in the ingredients, it will tend to taste a little bit nicer. So I'm going to be using one bottle. This is actually a magnum of red wine and I'm going to be cooking with the other half of it later. And then I forgot to tell you about one of the most important ingredients. We need some Cointreau or you need some brandy or any other orange liqueur. I love using Cointreau. So anywho, let's continue. You need a large pot and that is what we are going to make our mulled wine in. You then simply put all of the ingredients. I've actually got myself a little bit too much of a big pot. So do you know what? Stuff it. It's only Christmas one time of year. We're making oh, lots of mulled wine. So I am now in fact going to double up on my ingredients. So that's two bottles of red wine. However, if you just wanted to use the one, then obviously just half the ingredients that I'm going to be using. Then I'm going to be using half a cup of Cointreau. Voila. I then need myself two cinnamon sticks. I just bought these from Waitrose. Oh. 
Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Two cinnamon sticks. We need a sprinkle of some whole cloves. Now I would pop in about, I would say about 10 to 12. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and one. Ooh, and one for luck. There we go. And we need four of these superstars. Fantastic. And then I always like to do just a sprinkle, and I mean a real dusting of cinnamon, because as you know, I am obsessed with cinnamon. Then we need to add a little bit of sweetness. I always say, <laughs> no sugar for me, I am sweet enough. But in this case, we do need to add just that little bit of sweetness. And this can either be done with just sugar, or honey, or even a maple syrup. So I'm gonna do a little bit of both, actually. So I'm going to pop two tablespoons of sugar and then I'm going to go and find myself some maple syrup back in a quick jiffy. It's one of my weakest, weakest things. I love maple syrup. Pancakes and maple syrup, pudding and maple syrup. Oh, yum, de la scrum. I'm going to pop two tablespoons of the traditional, mm. enjoy licking the spoon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is the traditional Canadian maple syrup and it is absolutely delicious. So finally, we need a pair of juicy oranges. Now these are the enormous ones from the supermarket. And you can either have these with the peel on, or you can, in fact, peel them if you don't like to have that sort of a little bit of a bitter taste. But I love it. We've added enough maple syrup, I think, that we can get away with a little bit of orange bitter. So get yourselves a sharp knife. And it's important that we cut these like so. So in circular motions, so that the oranges are in little slices like so. So I'm just going to cut this orange. So the oranges are all sliced. And as I said, you can really simmer this for about, from 15 minutes, I would say, because you do want to have all of those delicious ingredients all combined together, or even up to three hours, and it will be mulled to perfection. So let's pop these oranges in. And then we need to give it a good old stir. <gasps> Turn the heat on. We want it on, voila. <laughs> Magic to my ears. We want it on a relatively low heat. We want it to just really, really lightly simmer. We do not want it to boil at all. Oh, that's making a very high pitched noise whether you can hear that. There we go. Need to find myself a spoon. Oh, I'm thinking it's Christmas. Let's go with a red spoon. I'm going to give it a good old mix. Oh, there is something about cloves, oranges, cinnamon and red wine that is just heaven on earth. This is absolutely scrumptious. I'm thinking to cuddle up next to the fire with Marcus and the sausages, listening to rocking around the Christmas tree and a happy holiday. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> okay, right. I am literally just going to let this simmer away and it is going to start to all come together. So whilst that is mulling, we are going to start making our Nutella Christmas tree. So I feel like if we do our Christmas tree on the chopping board, it's going to be a nightmare to move. So fail to prepare, prepare to fail. So I've got myself some parchment paper and I'm going to just lay this out so that I can put my Christmas tree on it and then we can simply just lift it onto a baking tray and not have to worry. Right, that is going on there. 
we're then going to take our Just Roll ready rolled puff pastry. Now, if you want to be an utter superstar, you can, of course, make your own puff pastry. But Just Roll does such a fantastic job. Open this up. So let's roll it out. We need one sheet at the bottom, like so. Ooh. And then we need a lashing of Nutella. Oh my goodness. I have not had Nutella in absolute years. I feel like this is very dangerous. Very dangerous having a pot this size in our household. Mm. I feel like this may be consumed over just this month. <laughs> so, I'm going to literally take an enormous, an enormous spoonful. We're going to dollop it onto the puff pastry. Oh my goodness me, I am most certainly licking the spoon here. Okay, and then I'm going to pop another one down there. So I would say four enormous dollops of Nutella. There might be five. Let's see how we get on. And I'm just going to take the spoon and I am going to just smear it very close to the edge and make sure that there is an even layer of Nutella the whole way across this delicious puff pastry. Oh, I massively underdid it. I'm going back in. I cannot wait to lick this spoon. So I've just spent a little bit of time just making sure that we've got an even but thick layer of that scrum delicious Nutella. And for the most important part, mm. I've forgotten quite how sensational mm. Nutella is. Oh my goodness me. Okay, well, I'm gonna continue licking the spoon until <laughs> it is clean. And then I'm going to add the puff pastry on the top. Mm. <laughs> I feel like it's also one of those things that I probably now got Nutella all over my face and all in my teeth. But luckily, I'm not too close. So it is now time to take the second sheet of our puff pastry if I can open it. And we're just going to lay it on the top of the Nutella. I'm gonna try and pair it up and make sure that it is perfectly in line with the sheet underneath. Roll this out, it doesn't seem as long as the other one. Hmm, okay, cool, okay. Oh gosh, right, taken this off and we're now going to I feel like I need to like stretch this out a little bit it's not quite as long as the other one okay now going to just lay it over the top oh wow that matched perfectly so I'm just going to spend a little bit of time joining the edges together make sure none of that Nutella is sticking through the sides Right, we've got our gorgeous Nutella sandwich between two sheets of puff pastry. So naughty, but so needed. And now I'm going to take myself a sharp knife and we're going to cut a Christmas tree form. But don't worry about the extra puff pastry because we are going to make them into stars. And they are going to be the stars of the show on the front of the Christmas tree. So it is now time to cut our tree. So I would suggest, I'm waving my knife around, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I would suggest you get yourselves a sharp but little knife. Now I'm going to freehand this and I'm going to just draw a line really, really faintly a Christmas tree just to make sure that I get it right or you can in fact uh, do it with a ruler. I can't find a ruler <laughs> at this very moment. So I'm literally just going to really, really faintly draw myself a tree 
as straight as I can down each side all the way to the corners. I'm going to do a little bit this side, do the bottom of the tree. We're also going to be creating a little tree trunk. Oh, a row! Are you a tired little picker? And then I'm going to do the bottom of my tree trunk and then down the other side. Say that that's actually pretty good if you ask me. So I'm literally just going to take my knife and I'm going to just cut down where I just went with my Christmas tree Ooh. through the pastry, through the Nutella. Make sure that I clean the knife and then down the side. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Okay, down the other side. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I will give you a close up. Down the other side. And then with the off cuts, we're going to be making the stars. Okay, take it down here. Do, 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 do. I'm glad I did this on the chopping board because I wouldn't want to be putting a sharp knife on the baking tray. Okay, this is bubbling away nicely. I'm going to actually just turn that down a touch because I certainly do not want it boiling. And then I'm going to cut down. <gasps> that is our oven ready. So I preheated the oven to 180 degrees for our Christmas tree to bake in. And then that is our tree cut. It's going to make sure that the pastry is fully cut through. And then I'm just really gently going to pull that pastry away and then I'm going to make some stars into them. Oh, this looks so good. I cannot wait to tuck into this. Think hot pastry with the Nutella oozing out the sides. Okay, I'm going to pull that one away just slightly so the Christmas tree is solely sat by itself. And then we can start doing the twists. And it also just shows whether you have cut through all the way to the bottom of that pastry. Okay, pull that away slightly. Voila, and then the other side. Gosh, I'm making a right mess over here with my Nutella. Once we dust it in snow, AKA icing sugar, you will not be able to see the Nutella extravaganza that is going on currently. Okay, this is a little close-up of my Christmas tree. I hope you guys think it looks like a Christmas tree. This side is slightly longer than this side, but I'm quite happy considering I did it free-handed. And then these are my off-cuts, and I'm gonna do three stars. I'm gonna put one here, one in the middle, and then maybe sort of two here potentially, depending upon how much extra pastry we have. I've got my little elves down here. Excuse me, what is going on, mummy? Are you Santa's little helpers? Are you little helpers? Yeah? Oh my goodness. We've got to put your antlers on. Yes. You're going to show everybody your Christmas outfits. Oh, Raffi. Oh, Odie, you couldn't be left out, could you? Couldn't be left out. Oh, big stretchies. <laughs> big stretchies. Okay, so next step is to make our stars. And again, I'm going to try and freehand this. However, if you have a star cutter, it would be a whole heap easier. I did in fact buy a sausage dog stencil. I have searched the house high and low, so I have a feeling my husband may have popped it somewhere, but I cannot find it. So the Christmas tree is going to have to have stars instead of sausage dogs, but we'll have to bake something another time with a sausage dog at the top of it. Okay, so I'm now going to try and do these stars. I went ahead and actually just sort of kind of made a guideline with my knife, but I'm definitely not very good at doing a freehand <laughs> star. It looks very dodgy indeed, but you know, like I always say, it's the effort that counts. So this is one of our stars. 
and then it just means that we're not wasting any of this scrumptious pastry. Okay, do you know what? That's not too shabby, as they say. Okay, that's one of our stars done. I'm gonna put all of the tiny little offcuts on the side. And of course, I'm going to be baking those as well, because just because they're ugly doesn't mean they're not delicious. So, make my star here, this side. Oh, I think you're gonna be very pretty. Okay, you can definitely be the star at the top of the tree. So I'm gonna put one at the top, and then I think I'm gonna pop one sort of like middle, halfway down the tree. So these are our stars. Okay, no, maybe <laughs> I take that back. The other star was definitely better. Okay, now we have our stars of the show. We can now move on to actually just twisting the Christmas tree. Oh, make sure he's removed. This literally smells insane. Buttery pastry. I'm going to take away these large pieces here and just lay them on the side for now. And then I'm going to, again, take the sharp knife and I'm going to cut. Actually, I'm going to give you a little bit of a close up here. I'm going to cut little lines here, but just make sure that you leave it space in the middle for the trunk. So don't cut the whole way through. Just make little incisions up the tree like so, leaving a gap in the middle. And then we're going to twiddle. And that is going to be our twists all done. Then we just need to add the egg and she is ready for the oven. I would say to chop them into, I would say a good inch. And then I'm just leaving that gap in the middle. Ooh, okay. Here we go. So definitely the left hand side is longer <laughs> than the right. So those are all our little incisions made. So it should look somewhat like so. And she is now ready to be twisted. So I'm literally going to start from the bottom upwards and I'm going to just simply twiddle the end like so. Stretch it out slightly, lift it up, twiddle. This is definitely the messy bit. <laughs> but probably the best bit. I would do all your twiddling first and then enjoy licking your fingers. <laughs> okay, oh my goodness me, this is definitely a messy job. Oh, wowzers. It looks insane though. Gosh, it is a bit of a windy moo out there. The winds are obscene at the moment and the rain is coming down in the bucket load. But I really feel like it's making it feel like Christmas. It's cold outside, we've got the fires lit and it is feeling so festive. <laughs> My fingers are caked in Nutella. Very, very pleased I've got my Christmas penny on because I have a feeling my cream cashmere would have been covered in chocolate. Okay, we're getting towards the top of the Christmas tree. I'm going to stretch those little ones out at the top. Oh, wow. Okay, starting off on the other side. And this could be something that you did for a drinks party that you could turn up with as a hostess gift. It is super cheap and it's also the fact that you made the effort. You could even make this for your own dinner party as almost like pudding crudité. You could get a little bit of uh, whipped cream and then you'd pull the end of the Christmas tree off, dip it in the whipped cream and it would be like a pudding version of crudité. I love that. But this evening, this is going to be a little bit of a showstopper. And it is going to taste delish. I cannot wait to have a tiny little edge of this with a gorgeous cup of hot mulled wine. And we will be getting into the festive spirit. 
I'm going to be cranking up those Christmas carols and I'm going to be probably dancing around the kitchen. <laughs> right, so that is all our twisting done. I'm going to place the stars, I think at the top. You can't have a Christmas tree without a star at the top. Okay. <laughs> Miss me, I'm literally covered. And which star? Hmm, and if we poke this one out a little bit, she might look, there we go. I think this one definitely looks more like a star than this one. But that looks so gorgeous. Okay, that one there. And then I'm gonna spend a hot second <laughs> mm, licking my fingers, mm, giving them a good old clean. Mm. And then we're going to crack our egg and we're going to egg wash it because it will make it glisten once it is baked. And then mm, she is ready for the oven. And last but not least, we need to crack our egg and do the egg wash on the top. So get yourselves a little paintbrush, a food paintbrush, might I add. <laughs> and then I always like to just whisk it with the paintbrush and then make sure it's not too much on there and we're just going to really really delicately paint that egg wash over the pastry that hasn't got Nutella all over it. There we go. Doo -doo -doo. And that is going to make it look super glittery and shiny once she's all baked. And there we go. She is pretty much egg washed to perfection and ready for the oven. <laughs> and that there is our Christmas tree all ready for the oven. She doesn't look somewhat pretty now, but hopefully after she has been baked, it will come out glistening and looking gorgeous. And she is going in. So the Christmas tree takes around about 15 to 20 minutes to bake. I've got it preheated at 180. And I think I'm actually going to have a little taster of our mulled wine, just to make sure she doesn't need any other spices. But the smell is absolutely heavenly. Now that our Christmas tree is in the oven, I cannot help but myself. I just want to have a quick little sipette. I also have a pesty person over here who keeps trying to take our bold wine. I know, we've got our favorite Christmas mugs. They've got little dashens with uh, um, uh, little antlers like dashing through the snow in a one more soap and say. Wait, come on, let's no, try. No, 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 okay, right, we need to do it with the ladle. Yeah. All the sieve over the top. Just improvising. We're improvising. There we go. Touch more. Thank you very much. A slice of orange. There we go. Fan, ooh. Fan tabby dozy. Oh. Delish. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so whilst trying to find the sausage dog stencil, oh, I found the sausage dog antlers. At this point, Odie, come, come have a look. Odie, do you want to have your antler on? Come on, baby. I think he's had enough of my antics <laughs> for one day. What do you think, Winnie? You look so beautiful. Show everybody your antlers. <laughs> oh my goodness me. They are just too cute for words. Wiggy, you're such a good boy. Raffi, do you want your antlers on? Do you want your antlers on? Okay, Raffi can also have antlers. Who wants antlers? You can have antlers. Oh no, he doesn't want them. Oh, there we go. Lancelot? So handsome, got rid of the red nose reindeer, had a very delicious dash and nose. <laughs> Mummy has lost the plot, but it is Christmas. <laughs> hey, our Christmas tree is in fact growing. Let's go and take a little look at the oven. 
He's so scrumptious. I could put you in the oven and I could eat you. I could eat you. We could stuff you with Nutella and eat you. Yeah. Oh, let's go and take a little look at the oven because oh, she is rising. The puff pastry is really beginning to puff. Says it in the name. <laughs> I can't wait for her to go golden. She's ready. <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> the smell of that buttery pastry and the chocolate. <gasps> Our Christmas tree is officially baked and look at how special it looks. I've just transferred our tree onto a red sparkly Christmas plate and I think it is looking <laughs> incredible. Now our last step is to take some icing sugar. We're going to pop it into a sieve and we're going to lightly dust it with snow. So I'm going to pop that on there and we are going to just give it a real delicate sprinkling of snow. Oh, I think it looks incredible. The smell from the Nutella and that buttery puff pastry as well as that wine that is mulling to my left. Oh, now for the most important part, the taste test. It definitely passes the test of looking beautiful. Holy Christmas. Mm. Holy smokes. This is outrageous. Mm. 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 Quick, if you don't have the ingredients in house, Run, <laughs> run to the supermarket, get yourself some puff pastry and some Nutella because this is to absolute die for. Oh, not only does it look beautiful, but it tastes phenomenal. Gosh, I might even have to have another bit. I feel like if I take it off the bottom of the tree, maybe Marcus won't notice. Mm -hmm. That butteriness of that puff pastry with a slight crisp on the edge. And then, oh, that Nutella. <sighs> Chef's kiss. Mm. Truly, truly scrumptious. Mm. <laughs> I am going to be spending the evening sipping on mulled wine and quite frankly demolishing this Christmas tree. I truly hope you guys have enjoyed this one as much as I have just adored filming every single second of it, sipping it and eating it. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow and as always sending you so much love. Cheers and Merry Christmas.